They don't belong here, not on the side of Mesa Grande Road, where there isn't a lot of safe space from cars. They say there's like between 100 and 150 of them. More than 100 pigs were abandoned here sometime Thursday night along this winding road through Mesa Grande tribal land. This area is also home to wild turkeys, cows, and even the occasional bobcat. Piggies! Denise Brindle is one of the few to come out here to leave the pigs food and water. Okay. I can't imagine not helping them. Denise thinks the pigs simply got too expensive for someone to feed. A lot of people with farms are having trouble, uh, you know, making ends meet. So with 150 pigs, you can imagine. At the same time, the county of San Diego says these are pet pigs that sell for between $800 and $3,000. A few have already been hit and killed alongside the dangerous Mesa Grande Road. It kind of breaks my heart that these pigs are dying this way. They're living creatures that absolutely do not deserve just to be kind of abandoned. Ryan Belverde and his wife were able to capture this mama pig and two of her piglets. You could tell she just needed help. They run the nonprofit Little Bitty Animal Sanctuary in Ranchita. Ryan wishes whoever abandoned the pigs simply called a sanctuary like theirs first. It certainly wasn't the right option and it wasn't the humane option. I pray that this doesn't ever happen again. Since the pigs were abandoned on Mesa Grande tribal land, County Animal Services does not have jurisdiction. A county spokesman says they have offered to help. In the meantime, locals like Denise are doing their best to care for the pigs. It's just, it takes time. In Mesa Grande. <laughs>